Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, the least toxic, most fun community in all gaming. If you ever played a match where the enemy team gets first dragon, rift herald, second dragon, second rift herald, third dragon, and you think, get me out of here, this is a waste of time. Well, if you have, then this video is for you. I'm going to focus on win conditions, picking a champion that you're both proficient with, and that rounds out your team comp where it's most necessary. Some champions have the ability to win almost any game regardless of if they're ahead, behind, or where they are in the match. And it's great to have at least one of those on your team every time you play. If you don't, winning can be a lot harder than it needs to be, and sometimes impossible. Check out this enemy team comp. They have a Twitch that can carry late game. They have a Darius that can crush in team fights. They have a Nautilus that can tank all the damage, along with Darius who has the regen. And then they have a Yi who can pop off at any moment. And what do we have? We got a Brand. A Rengar, who can be an okay bruiser, but maybe not the best in team fights, And then Sihon, the split lane pusher, with a Yumi. And so that's why I picked Jinx, for a couple of reasons. First, Jinx goes great with Yumi. Second, it's going to be necessary. We need somebody that can pop off in this game in order for us to win. Otherwise, we would have to absolutely crush these guys to win this match. So, you see me heading off the lane, and you can actually see there's early action here. Yi is invading, which is a bold strategy, but they probably think they're okay. And so I'm trying to stack my um, passive to get the attack speed. And you'll see I'm able to get 6, and now I have my attack speed. I exhaust the Nautilus, and let's see if I can get the kill. I don't. Rangar steals it. Okay, that's okay. So now I'm going to back off from Yi, and I do get a kill there. So that's a great start for me. One assist, one kill. And I think they did get first blood, uh, but... Still, feeding a Jinx early is not always the best move, but I think they thought they could invade and we wouldn't be able to catch them. We were fortunate that we were able to. Always got to keep an eye on the map and make sure you know what's going on, because if I don't rotate there, I don't get those kills, and we'd probably lose two people instead of one, and we'd be way behind right now. Um, so in this case, Yumi and I are against Twitch. I, you know, Twitch can be a little bit annoying in lane. You can see him just sort of popping up out of nowhere. But I'm not particularly afraid of Twitch. I find him a little bit underwhelming, and especially as a carry. He can be very good. I don't think he's good at carry as Jinx. Okay, and again, this Yi is invading, and so let's see if there's anything we can do. If we can get one more, we do get the Yi, and now we want to turn, and I want to be fighting these guys. Um, so Nautilus is here. He actually goes backwards, which is interesting. And this is a tight match. I need Yumi to jump onto me here and give me the heal. Uh, but you'll see, Twitch and I are pretty much even, but Jinx out damages Twitch in, a, in the early, I feel like, at every stage of the game. Uh, so I like Jinx a lot better than Twitch. I think he needs a little bit of a buff, or maybe people just don't know how to use him. He is a fairly new champion. Uh, so here, I'm just going to clear this wave, reset, and I'm able to get my first item, which is very good. So I'm 4 and one great start. Don't get too overzealous, though, because this match ends up having many twists and turns and some unexpected things that happen. Uh, so stick with us. You're going to be excited to see the end. Um, actually, it's really exciting throughout the entire thing with a lot of ups and downs, uh, both emotionally, wins, kills, and all that. Ooh, Nautilus hits me with a hook. I just throw my choppers out to trap him. Totally whiff on a second ability like it's my first day on the job. And now I'm in sort of a weird spot, and I, I really want to back off, so I exhaust, 
and Yumi is just walk pathing right through the Nautilus. Uh, so I'm trying to help Yumi out. I think they should jump on me. We're able to get the root, and if Yumi jumps on me, I will die. <laughs> you see me say, Yumi, get on me. I don't know. I don't play a lot of Yumi, but for some reason I can't imagine that cooldown is that long uh, that they couldn't get on me and heal or at least just give me that shield, but not the end of the world. Uh, hopefully they didn't take that as flaming. I really just... I don't know if I was trying to tell them what to do, but um, but I really thought they should have jumped on me there. Um, so now heading back the lane, and you can see how, like I said, exciting this match is, where now I gave them the shutdown gold on four kills, which was a mistake. Um, you saw me farming there, the way I'm farming, attacking the minions. It, it's just a little bit faster and gives you an edge. We should back off so Nautilus doesn't hit us with his hook. I really don't want him to hit me, and he's got his ultimate. So I throw down my choppers. I am able to exhaust. I focus the twitch, so I click on the twitch because that's who I want to be attacking, and I still die. <laughs> and so does Yumi. Uh, perfect. 4, 2, and 1 as opposed to 4, 0, oh, and 1. And they're going to be able to put a ton of damage on our turret. So, uh, like I said, really exciting start. I, I didn't realize how far I needed to back off there, but it happens. Uh, now Dragon's up, so we're heading over to Dragon because that's exactly what I want to do. I want to be taking Dragon, and I get hit with another hook. I am able to exhaust the Twitch, um, but they're able to survive. Katarina gets a triple kill, which is about the last thing that you want to see, but I don't know what's worse, Katarina or Darius getting a triple kill here. Uh, and Brand just walks for the 1v3 uh, there. Um... I don't know if they're going to... Yeah, so... Alright, yeah, I wasn't sure what's going to happen. So, they get the dragon, and they get Rift Herald. So, terrible. I actually flash, which was almost definitely a mistake. Uh, because I wanted to get into the fight. But let's see if Yumi can get there. So, very nice. And actually, as it turns out, I get a shutdown on Katarina, which was just awful for them. Because the last thing they want to do is give... Jinx an extra thousand gold, uh, but really great for us. So we were very fortunate that that happened. And now we're going to try to take down this mid turret, but we don't have a ton of time. I throw the choppers out. I thought Rangar would help me finish the turret. Um, if we take down that turret, I get the bonus attack speed. I can space myself away from Nautilus so I can shoot Nautilus, not get hit by Twitch, and I have Yumi on me to heal me and throw the shield up. Uh, so I thought it was a good decision to do that, but Rengard, you know, just weren't thinking about it the same way. He probably doesn't think about Jinx's kit the way I do, and ultimately it may have been just a mistake on my part to do that the way that I did. Uh, but let's see if we can root the Nautilus, and I'm able to shoot... I don't, I don't know who got the kill there. Oh, Yumi did. Okay, so I would have got him with a rocket even if I didn't, and now I am looking to take down this mid turret. And we're able to just miss the Twitch, which that might have been another kill. Um, but from how we started to how we are now, it's actually not that great. Here's Yi. I'm in sort of a weird spot because I really don't want to fight the Yi like this, but able to get a good root on him, and he goes down. And then Twitch comes and did not realize Rengar was there. We're able to get another kill, and we go down two for one. Um, it's not too bad. It's a fine trade. Uh, although I think we're going to give up, or we already gave up the mid-tower here. Um, and now Rengar goes down. Yumi needs to just back off. And let's see if we can catch this Nautilus. Oh, we were able to hit them. And then Scion's able to rotate. I fire the rocket, and we should be able to get him. So that's good. And we still got that 8 health on that turret and bot. Uh, this one should go down easily enough. Yeah. So now we get their turret, which is good. And now we're just going to get a reset in. Go shop and take a look at the map. Um, so probably want to trend towards mid to top right now. Our bot turret is basically dead. So we don't want to go under that and pretend that it's going to save us from anything. So we almost want to treat it as if it's not there. I know that it's still there, but ultimately we really don't want to pretend that that thing's going to save us from anything because it's one auto attack and then it's not, you know, protecting us anymore. 
Uh, so now that here's the second Rift Herald. Their team is doing a great job grouping. We unfortunately waste Yumi's alt. Uh, they, I, I think they were trying to just save themselves or maybe thought there was a lot of action coming, which there was. And now they're collapsing on us. He's able to get a kill, which is not good for business. And he gets a double kill. We're so close. So they had two people there that if I get either of those kills, I think I pop off and wipe their entire team or at least get... You know, another probably three kills out of that. Unfortunately, we're not able to. Um, so what we should do here is just protect this turret real fast. Just make sure that Darius can't take this easily while they're on Rift Herald. And you can see Rengar getting a little bit upset. Brand stick with the team. Uh, but he's not AFK. And while I would make different decisions if I was him, um, at the same time, I, you know, I'm not going to say stuff like that to him. Uh, so we do get a kill there. Actually, Rengar gets a double kill. Let's see if he can do another one. We get three of them, and Katarina gets a double kill. Uh, so we are not looking that great, and here's me typing. We have to group. Um, we need... So a lot of people at this point say, uh, farm your waves. I totally disagree with that. It might be a hot take. I might get flamed in the comment section, but... When I am down, what I want to do is I want to get everybody into one spot and find a fight that is five versus two, three, or four. I want all five people in one spot. I want to win a team fight, and then I want to take an objective, whether it's a dragon or a tower or two. I don't want people farming. When the enemy is ahead, in my mind, they have more gold, they're stronger, and they can win fights. So I love that we're fighting here and we're grouping. I wish Scion was there, but I get one kill. I get a double kill and I think triple kill. Okay, so if we just went and farmed, gave them dragon for nothing, I don't get a triple kill there and a bunch of gold. Now, they got the second dragon, which is not great, and it would have been great if we would have been there two seconds earlier, won that fight and took dragon, but that's what I feel like you need to do in order to come back. We're down 11 kills right now. Sitting in our lane, farming up while they're stealing jungle camps and taking every objective is not the way to do it. And so here you can see me again, rotating for a fight, um, even using my abilities to try to catch up. Unfortunately, they ended up being wasted, but not a big deal. I also sped this part up. It's just me farming up, taking jungle camps. I am the carry. I should be taking these jungle camps. But here's another fight, and that was a big overstep on my part. Um, I even said my bad. You know, sometimes you get ahead of yourself, and you think you have more space than you do. And unfortunately, I did not. Um, but we're able to get, I think we got three of them. So three for three, which isn't great, but also isn't that bad for somebody, you know, they've got two dragons on us and 14 kills. Um, so now I'm trending towards here and I want to be fighting this Darius with Scion. I actually misclicked. I tried to click my third ability there to put the choppers down, but fired the rocket. Um, but ended up working out okay, fortunately. Um, and so... Now we've got Yi. I don't know if Yi's invading there. Maybe just checking things out, but none of our camps are up. Um, yeah, so I sort of thought they might be coming, and I'm able to get some really good damage on Yi, get the kill, and now let's see if we can get Twitch. Beautiful, and we've got some good range. Can we get Katarina? No, this Nautilus is taking some good damage here. And we get four of them. And now I ping right to Dragon. I That was my first thing. We've got four of them down. we got to do something here. Ping for Dragon, or for Baron, excuse me. We take Baron, and that's exactly what we need to do right now. And as I'm running out, I want to get the blue buff. I want to take the jungle camps, and I want to push waves. Um, so we're able to get Baron off that fight. And now I really wanted the inhib turret. I, I flash right into the Darius, which was terrible. Um, but able to get a kill. I was trying. I should have hit stasis there. I think if I could have hit stasis, they would have backed off. Uh, but I'm not sure if I couldn't hit it or I just misplayed it. Um, both of them are options, a misplay, or uh, <laughs> or I just wasn't able to, like when you get stunned and knocked up. Uh, you, what you may not have seen, Brand type something about, like, I took all of them off of you, and what I was saying is that I prefer Scion to split push, and Brand to be with the team, it's just better that way. We do need Scion in order to tank some damage, so it's great that he's grouping with us. Um, 
I actually really like this Scion in his play because he made it so that we could win fights. And so here we see another group. Okay, so what's happening? I'm positioning in the back. I don't want them to get on me. And Scion's up there tanking damage perfectly. This is beautiful. So I'm able to create as much space as I need. They don't get anybody on me until we have two kills and I've got tons of attack speed and I can actually fight the Yi at that point. And so now we've got four of them and I'm saying attack the Nexus because we need to get out of this game. They have three dragons. They're going to outscale us by a mile. And this Twitch made a mistake and you can see he's got three dragons and he can't fight me and uh, Yumi. He can't even get away from me. And so I'm able to get the kill and we're able to finish off and win this. Do not give up when you have a carry. Your carry can come back, they can pop off at any time. You saw I popped off there a couple of times in fights, and you just need a little bit of time and a little bit of space. And so make sure that if your team doesn't have one and you're able to pick a carry that can pop off, you do that. Um, it was a very good game. The Scion played great. The brand was a little funny, but it's okay. He came when he needed to. Our uh, Rengar also did well, and Yumi staying on me was perfect. So by all... By any look, we should lose this based on team comp, uh, but fortunately, we were able to win. Hopefully, I see you on the Rift. GG.